Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a new client file in Draftworks. This is your main screen. On the left you will see our Twitter feed where we post important information and announcements such as new program features, free training opportunities and so much more. Throughout Draftworks you will find these green and orange bars. The green bar is used for filtering, such as finding a client file if you have several in your list already. The block to the left is used to clear your filter criteria. The orange bar is used to enter new information into the software. In this case, it is used to add your new client file. Click on enter new client here, then add a name. Use the year end drop down to select your year end date and period you are reporting on. The frameworks is where you select what type of client you are creating. You will see that some of my templates have a plus sign behind. These are our new and improved templates. The, the, the ZA is showing that it is localized to South Africa. Please note that we have already localized in several other countries, for example, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, Nigeria, Ghana, Uganda, and even Saudi Arabia. We will be adding even more localization soon. The CC plus ZA is our closed corporation template. This is fully IFRS SME compliant. IFRS for SME plus ZA is our company template. Then you can add a methodology. It is not necessary to add one, but this will add any working papers that you need to your file. Then simply press enter to create your client. This might take a few seconds. This is the main screen that you will see once your file has been created. The next step would be to set up your client. If you need any assistance with this, please have a look at the video for setting up your client. To get back to your client list screen, simply click on our file button at the top left and go to your client list. There's also a shortcut, the little folder just left from your file button. If you need to change your client name for any reason, it can be done on your main screen. Just click on your file button, enable client rename, press enter. and accept. Then go back to your file button and disable client rename. You can also delete the file right from the screen. Click on your file once, then click on the arrowhead on the left only once. Press delete on your keyboard and agree. When a file is deleted from here, it will not be able to get restored. Thank you very much for watching.